Brad here with Grill Grates. I have been grilling with Grill Grates for over 12 years. And you know, my cleaning techniques have been changing just as much as my grilling habits have been changing. And I've been using some different tools, more tools than I used to. I used to only use this, scrape the valleys, and that was our only cleaning tool for a long time. So my daily routine is actually pretty simple. I use the grill brush every time, almost as much like a broom, just brooming debris. And probably grab the scraper to get a couple of other stubborn things, broom it again, that's it. That is the daily routine for maintaining grill breaks. Occasionally, I'll bring out the valley brush, especially if I use marinades and get a lot of stuff in the valleys. This is really good from an aggressive thing in the valleys. And I rarely use our cleaner. We're gonna use it today, and we're gonna go after it today, but I, this is very rare, a couple times a year. These, every day. All right, so I saved my Weber Genesis. I kind of preserved the mess. The last time I grilled over here was Korean short ribs with a very sweet sauce. And I was really aggressive with the sauce, and you can kind of see the remnants of the sauce there. Also want to point out, look at the debris in the back. I have not deep cleaned these grates in three months. So first thing we're going to do is try to get as much of this off. Here, now that beautifully brushed away. Look at that. Time to bring out this guy. So we're going to go into the valley. What I'm going to do now is bring this back. I think this is a broom. I'm just going to send all that to the back. Let's bring this guy out, the scraper, a little bit, because again, I want to get and get as much of the debris as I can. Before I go any further, big tip of the day, wear an apron when you do this. That's a lot of debris. That also didn't go into your grill, so you have a cleaner grill, which we'll show you. Bye. Now, that, some of that stuff's in there a little longer than it probably should have been. But now we're going to bring in the great and grill cleaner here, and we're going to do a couple of applications. You really want to give this a good 10 minutes, let it do its thing. It needs to absorb into that grease and kind of eat on that carbon a little bit. So all I'm going to do, and this is where your apron comes in real handy because you start doing this, you're sending a little goodies back at you, right? But I want to give it some aggressive scrubbing. Round two. All right, and we'll give it 10 minutes and come back and do it again. All right, we've been 10 minutes again, and you can really see these bubbles are turning brown. I mean, they're literally absorbing the grease and the carbon right off the grace. Now I'm removing the remainder of that seasoning. All right, so we have cleaned these grill grates as clean as you're going to get them. Don't try to get back to raw metal or back to a basic. This is as clean as you ever want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this grill on. And I'm going to stay fairly hot, three-quarters speed. I mean, look at them now. I mean, we've dried out the valleys. They look fabulous. And I'm just taking that onion, and I am aggressively up and down the rails to leave that patina. It's leaves us and it's also a, a final cleaning so there is how you resuscitate a set of very well used very well loved pretty soiled up grill grates here why don't we just finish the job using our grilling grate cleaner again just take a minute and hit these surfaces one wipe i can actually smell the garlic in this cleaner. Looks like a shiny automobile. Inside and out. Beautiful.